So, is this film a documentary or rockumentary? No, it's a punkumentary. Hello, Dull Bedsit Blogger here, and I went to the cinema last night to see The Punk Syndrome, which is a documentary about the Finnish punk band Perti Korkan Nimpovat, or I've probably mispronounced it a bit then, sorry, uh, uh, PKN. Uh, and they are a band, a punk band of learning disabled people. And um, they were Finland's entry into the Eurovision Song Contest this year. And I was so sure about them that I put £10 on them. Unfortunately, they didn't get through the semi-finals, which is a bit annoying. But that's why it's gambling, not investmenting, isn't it? Anyway, so on with the, the, the documentary. The documentary is really, really good film about a band. You know, it's a good rockumentary, fly on the wall kind of style. Quite raw in places uh, about the relationships of the band members and their little eccentricities um and 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 life um it was it, yeah it was a fascinating film um i kind of felt sorry for one of the members who appeared to be an element of the band that um I wouldn't say everyone hated, but a lot of negative emotion was poured out towards him. Um, but he's, you know, he's a part of the band, and I think, you know, possibly someone has to have that when you're in a group of people, whether you've got learning disabilities or not. Um, it was filmed in a quite a full-on gritty way um there's another learning disabled band that were from brighton called heavy load who uh you know they're in my top five live bands to see ever they were so punk rock in their attitude in their kind of we're gonna do this we don't care we're just we're, we're here to do this we're not here to make punk music we're not here to do this we're not here to do that we're just doing our thing uh, which for me personally is uh, a big element of the kind of punk ideal and ethic. And they had a documentary about them. And they're very similar kind of documentary. It's, it's probably very difficult to make a rockumentary about a, a small unknown band uh, without them being very similar because, you know, bands are all very similar human dynamics are very similar e you know with or without learning disabilities you know perhaps the things you might focus on might be different but um that people are still people and i felt that the, the way this is filmed is so you know the heavy load film um it's not necessarily gentle but it is kind of a little bit reserved and British. Whereas this punk syndrome was was kind of quite gritty and and almost uncomfortably in your face and you know, you're quite up close to to the experience and the people. It's, it really is like you're there in the room. Um, and, you know, one of the other things is like one of the guys, uh, they went on a tour and they recently, or uh, earlier this year, I think it was, they played in Brighton supporting uh, 
the band Hard Skin, and so which is fantastic. And you know, the the a couple of the guys have learnt some English, which amazes me. Um, I know several people who have learning disabilities and have learnt English as a second language, which amazes me. I don't have a learning disability and I have a real problem trying to learn languages. I'm bad at languages. And it just shows the amazing resilience and what the brain can do. Um, what an amazing machine the brain is. But I recommend going to see uh, The Punk Syndrome. It's a, it's a really good film, kind of heartwarming. Uh, there's some very funny stuff <laughs> about uh, uh, ped pedicures, which is very funny. Uh, and, you know, really interesting band dynamics. Um, yeah, a great film. Big up, PKN.